Hello friends, today this is a short informational film rather than a how-to on when should you change your brake pads and why. Now this is my Saab 93 and if we get really close in to the uh, brake pads you can see that there's not a lot of material left there. Now this is a 3mm across flats uh, allen key. The 3mm allen key just, just fits in between the backing plate and the disc. So there's 3mm of friction material left. Now that means that these pads are ready for changing. The pads, all pads, should be changed when there's just 3mm of material left. Some pads might come with instructions that tell you two millimeters but in the absence of any instructions always assume three millimeters now you might think three millimeters there's loads of material left on there but the reason for changing at three millimeters is that the friction material has a certain mixture which produce which has metallic particles and resin in there binding it together the backing plate is steel. The brake pad material is adhered to the steel backing pad. But in order for the bond between the steel and the pad material to be as strong as it can be, at the back, at the back side of the pad they're manufactured so that there is less metallic particles on this side of the pad than there is on the braking face. That way the extra resin that's uh, in the material mix produces a stronger bond to the backing pad. The change in the material composition it happens gradually over the last couple of millimetres of brake pad material. Now the increased resin content and reduced metallic content of the pad means that the uh, friction between the pad and the steel disc is reduced that means you've got less braking available which of course could be important to you in an emergency situation so that's the reason why you need to change your brake pads at three millimeters some of the top brake pad manufacturers have improved the manufacturing process in such a way that the, the interlayer, as it's called, is reduced to about two millimetres, but if in doubt, assume three. Here's a pictorial representation of the layer build-up of a brake pad. Comments and practical uh, experiences in the comments section. Like the video. I hope if this is your first time on my channel, you'll subscribe. Hit the little bell to get the notifications of new videos.